Blessed and happy Monday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. My dear Kababayans, today is October 9, 2023, and today is Monday within the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Before I'm going to start my reflection for today, I would like to extend my Thanksgiving greetings to all the people here in Canada celebrating the Thanksgiving Day. The parable of the Good Samaritan highlights these following important questions. Number one, it asks us, how good do I have to be? And second, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And third important question is, who is my neighbor? For today's reflection, let me focus and highlight my reflection on the third question, but let me put twist or twist the question in this way. Instead of asking, who is my neighbor? Let me answer the question, what kind of neighbor are we? What types of neighbor are we? And the gospel presented to us four types or four different kinds of neighbor. Number one, the robbers. Who are they? These are the people who will take advantage of your weakness. Robbers represent people who will manipulate you because you are helpless, you are powerless, and you are defenseless. On the positive note, these are the persons who will take advantage of your generosity and your kindness. Yung inaabuso ang iyong kabaitan at kabutihan dahil yun ang iyong kahinaan. The second type of neighbor is represented by the Levites or the priests. During the time of Jesus, Levites were designated to offer sacrificial offerings. And to do this job, a Levite or a priest should be pure and worthy. Thus, touching a dead person will make them unfit to offer the sacrificial offering. That's why in the gospel, we understand the context, we heard that the priest pass by on the other side of the road without minding a man fell victims to robbers. Levites and priests represent a person who is work-oriented, meaning to say their duties, their obligations are more important than helping someone in need. Their work has a supremacy over the needs of others. They don't mind others what matter to them is their work, their duties, their obligation. Are we this type of neighbor? And the third type of neighbor is the innkeeper. This type of person represents a neighbor whose service has a corresponding payment. You know, they will tell you, I will help you, but you have to pay me. I will give you a ride, but you have to pay for my gas. You know, doing service but asking favors and payments in return. And they always think of income, they will always think of salary, they will always think of stipend, commission, and money. They look others as an opportunity to make money. They, they look others as an opportunity to have more income because the dignity of person was replaced by a certain amount. I will help you, but you have to pay me. Are we this type of neighbor? The fourth and final kind of uh, a neighbor is represented by a good Samaritan. Who is he? This is a person who is a stranger, you know, an outside outsider, but with a heart filled with love, an outsider filled with compassion and kindness to someone he or she does not know. He is 
representing a person who is willing to be disturbed, willing to, to help and spend his money, willing to waste his time and energy just to help a stranger. Are we this type of a neighbor? Friends, there are four types of neighbor. Robbers, Levites, Innkeeper, and Good Samaritan. The challenge for today is this. Let us be a Good Samaritan. Why? Because if you do it, you will inherit the kingdom of God. If you will behave like a Good Samaritan, you will be blessed and heaven will be your reward. Let me end my reflection by saying, love your neighbor the way you love yourself. If you like and love this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed.